Hello, hey Tyler. Can you hear me? Mm, Tyler? Hello? <laughs> hmm. Okay, can you hear me? I can, can you hear me? Yes, sir. Okay, great. So you are Tyler? Yes, I am. Nice to meet you. Uh, you as well. <laughs> I, need to, I need to ask you, uh, your, your last name is uh, German. Uh, I've been told it's Irish. It's is weird. it Irish? I've been told, yeah, it's, it's weird. So it's, uh, it means okay. a, a dam, I guess. Okay. Yeah. I guess my ancestors lived by a by a dam somewhere in Ireland. It's what I've been told. Um, that's interesting. Uh, most of my uh, background is uh, Norwegian, and yeah. uh, the uh, folks that came from Norway, uh, their uh, food box, which is about is you know about so big, mm -hmm. uh, has has the name Uderhaus. Ud which means outhouse. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so I think you got me beat. <laughs> yeah. Nice. <laughs> All right. Um, so I guess I, I'm recording this, and so I plan to maybe just kind of make it available for others if they don't want to do a synchronous session with me, but maybe still want some information. So are you just kind of looking for um, just a rundown of how the class works generally? Yes, there were uh, some items in the uh, syllabus that uh, specific items that, that you mentioned that I was curious how those uh, will be used in the class and what your expectations are and okay and, and even more than that how how the, how they will play in play in the class itself. Sure. Okay. Well, let me. Uh, let's see. I think there's a way for me to share my screen. Uh, so let's just look at my desktop here. All right. Okay. Old Testament survey there. I was actually just uh, responding to Renee there, but I'll have to do that later. Um, okay. So uh, if we're looking at the main page here, Every week, what you're going to see on the main page is this, it's a course organizer that'll show you week number and then what part of the Old Testament we're studying. This week, first week is the law. And in this week, you'll be reading Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus. And the main activity is resource evaluations. Like the first two weeks are uh, resource evaluations, which we'll talk about in a bit. And the second two weeks are a basically like a question answer forum um, kind of geared that, that's what the assignment is geared toward uh, then the uh, let's see fifth and sixth weeks are uh, it's another discussion forum which is basically and I give you the um, instructions in the activity but what it is is uh, basically um, kind of fitting in like taking a particular book that you've read and fitting it in with everything else in the Old Testament, um, fitting it in even with the New Testament and just having discussions centered around that concept for those two weeks and the, then the particular books that you're scheduled to uh, read. And then the last two weeks will be uh, basically wiki entries. So kind of um, collaboration between students and uh, just kind of applying what you've learned uh, in a kind of a wiki format. Okay, so, <clears throat> so the first week is a little unusual because you do have a few more assignments than, than we typically would throughout a week. So you see under coursework here, this is what's due. So you've got your class introductions, you already did yours, Tyler. Um, 
and that's just kind of to get people acquainted with each other and accustomed to one another. Then you have this biblical creation essay. Um, you might not be able to access it until next week, Monday or Tuesday. That's what IT told me. Especially if you're a new student, you might ha not have what's called a chalk and wire account, and you need one of those accounts to actually log into that. Okay. But, but the biblical creation essay, and you can read for yourself as well, but it's just basically Maranatha is trying to track um, how our students are coming in in a 100 level course like Old Testament survey compared to what they're like when they're juniors or seniors and they've and they've been hopefully what we what we trust is you know educated um, beyond what they came in uh, as so anyway this is just kind of a you know tell uh, no prepa no preparation just tell me what you know about uh, what the Bible says about creation and and how that uh, jives with other theories of creation. So that's what that one is. Then you've got the resource evaluations. That's the big assignment of the week. It's a forum, a discussion forum um, assignment. <clears throat> and basically you're going to be taking um, Genesis, Exodus, and Leviticus, and you're going to choose a resource online or in the Geisler book that is our textbook, and you're going to read it. Uh, then you're going to go ahead and go out into the forum and uh, basically kind of summarize it. Okay, what does, what does it say about this particular book of the Bible? What does it teach? Give me a rundown of that. Uh, the more information, the better, typically. Uh, just it helps me know that you're thinking, and it also gives your classmates uh, opportunities to uh, agree, correct, disagree, whatever it would be. And then, so you, you say, this is what it said, and then let's actually go into it just to get the, uh, the exact wording. And since I'm not a student, I don't have your student view right now, so I'm just going to go into the edit assignment. I think. There we go. Okay, that's, that's the rubric, basically how you're going to be graded, but I'll go through the actual text of the assignment first before we get into the rubric. So, summarize it, summarize the resource that you read and then evaluate how true to scripture it is. Is this resource really giving me a good picture based on what I've already read of Genesis, Exodus, and Leviticus? Is, it, is this resource giving me a, uh, a, a deeper understanding of those books? Is it, is it missing things? Is it just totally off? Because they're, I try to, you know, uh, give us some good resources to use, but they're not all 100% completely accurate because they're written by fallen men who are hopefully redeemed, but at any rate. So you see this. So step one, read the Bible. Step two, read or watch these resources. So for Genesis, you can do Geisler's treatment of Genesis. You can do any article on Bible.org at this link right here, Bible.org slash book slash Genesis, or you can watch Bible Project videos, which uh, the Bible Project guys are a little interesting, but they can uh, give us, they do a good job of summarizing uh, books of the Bible very engagingly. Um, they're not always, they miss things and sometimes they have, they have a story that they want to tell that maybe isn't necessarily <laughs> what you might get from reading the scripture. So at any rate though, we, I can, you know, we can appreciate um, the things that are commendable about them. So the same thing for Exodus. So you do that for Genesis, you do it for Exodus, you do it for Leviticus, and I give you the links that you can use for those, uh, for those things. But I have this note. Now, if you read Geisler for Genesis, for example, don't use them for Exodus or Leviticus. If you use Bible Project for Exodus, don't use Bible Project for Genesis or Leviticus. So I just want to get a good sampling. I want you to be in Geisler for one of these books at least every week. I want you to be in... Um, the Bible.org, one of their resources every week. And then I want you to be in Bible Project videos, watching 
one of those uh, per week. And in weeks where we have like four or five books, then you can double up, but I want you to use one of those uh, every week. So I don't want you know you to use uh, Bible.org for all five books for a week, you know, for example. When you're, when you're using resources, I want you to um, use uh, each of the three types of resources at least once. Does that make sense? Yeah. <clears throat> yes, it does. Okay. Um, and, then, uh, and then after that, so you're, you're watching that, reading that, whatever, then you create an initial post and two response posts. So as I, I've already said, you summarize each resource, say what the book taught or what the resource taught about the book. Um, let's see. Yeah. And well, I just want to, you know, help me know that you've actually engaged with the resource and you've understood it. Um, and then evaluate each resource. So not just summarize, but now evaluate. Now you're making judgment calls and you're saying, um, <clears throat> you know, you're saying, uh, how true was it to scripture? Where did it help you understand scripture better? Where did it, you know, you read scripture and it said this and the resource said this and maybe you think the resource just isn't really getting it. Um, so just interact with that resource and your value calls, your judgments, your summaries, your evaluations, I should say, are based on what does the Bible say? Because you've just read it, you know. Okay, um, let's see. And that's due by Thursday at 11.55 p.m. Next Thursday, of course. Um, so maybe, uh, let's see. And then you respond to two classmates' posts. So um, then you're, and I don't want, it, it's so easy. I've even seen it in the welcome forums already, which uh, welcome post there, kind of the class introduction, where I see, you know, hey, you know, good job, buddy really liked what you said there. <laughs> I'm looking for more substantive. I'm looking, I'm, what I'm hoping is that people are reading the scripture, getting into the scripture, having their own conclusions that they're reaching based on scripture and informed by the, uh, by the resources that they've referenced. And then they're able to look at someone else's post and say, Hey, you know, I, I really think you were right on these points, but you know what, this point based on what I'm reading here in Leviticus, you know, chapter 12 or whatever, um, I, you know, I'm, I'm thinking this way and yeah, I want, I think, um, part of the benefit of online learning is this kind of back and forth that we can have that's asynchronous. That's, um, you can sit down and think about it and you can, um, I think even help, uh, each other learn as you're doing these kind of things. Mm -hmm. Okay, and I, I say right down here, you know, generally the more content that you produce, um, I'm not just looking for word count. I'm not even taking account of word count. That's not even part of the assignment. But the more you produce, I think the better usually the grade's going to be. Um, let's see here. I do have examples given in the handouts uh, page for what might earn you an A or might um, earn you a D <laughs> just kind of as two extremes. Mm -hmm. Let's, I'll show you that in just a, maybe a, a jiffy here, but um, so here's the rubric, basically what you're going to be graded on, how you're going to be graded. So like I'm looking at your summary, I'm looking at your evaluation, and then I'm looking at your responses. Each of those have 10 points maximum. So you're an expert, you're considered an expert. Um, if you've given an expert summary of the resources, and I know that's fairly, uh, that's kind of subjective, but it's basically, um, you know, we're going, to, I'm, it's just, it's basically a judgment call on my part. Mm -hmm. um, if I feel like you've really, if you've really shown that you understand this book, you've get, or this resource, you've given a summary of the resource very well, you're likely going to get a, you know, a 10. Um, you evaluate the resource. Uh, let's see. There's a little bit more said there. Evaluate with commendations and criticisms the resources. Give as many examples from the book of the Bible that the resource is attempting to teach as possible. And if you do well on that, if you if you just if I'm really sensing that you have just done 
uh, your absolute best and you've you've given a lot of information a lot of knowledge you've contributed to the discussion you're gonna get a, a good grade basically um, you're gonna get 10 9 8 7 or 0 points over here I don't can you see that or is it blocked uh, for you I, I had seen it before okay. yes yes yeah, so, <clears throat> All right. So anyway, that's, you know, the only way to, zero, to get a zero on any of these is really just to do nothing. Otherwise, you're going to get some points. Okay. All right. Um, any questions before we look at the examples, just maybe briefly here? No, it's, it's really, really well explained, the expectation. And the, the way that it's laid out, uh, the instruction is I think it's quite clear and you've, you've done a great job in, in telling us what, what we need to do and, and how we, and, and uh, how, how we need to do it. And, and, okay. and Good, good, good. And I hope these, uh, these examples help as well. I'm just going to, we'll just kind of open it and I'll show you. Uh, though eight, eight people have looked at it already, I guess. So that's good. All right. So this is just something that I pulled from last semester, uh, yes, yeah, sp uh, spring session A that I thought was exceptional. So it's kind of giving, giving the class uh, something to shoot for. So it was from Second Kings. Um, this person reviewed Ray Stedman's uh, yeah, resource here, which was linked from Bible.org. That's what she was using there. She gives a summary. Um, and I'm not even going to read it all or even hardly any of it because you can see all that she went on and it's not just, she's not just copying and pasting. I'm assuming it's a she, I think it was a she, but, um, you know, she's not just copying and pasting the resource. She's, she's uh, communicating it in her own words and then comes time for the evaluation. So she has some kind of, uh, commendations, not condemnations, commendations, um, where she's kind of giving her her judgment calls uh, on various things in the resource. Most of the time, Elijah's warning Ahab of God's coming judgment on Israel's sin, and she gives references for it. Makes me know that she was she's reading the scripture. She's um, um, kind of pointing again to what Stedman is doing right here, and giving giving proof for that. That's what I'm wanting to see. I'm wanting to see some proof of why you think what you think. But then there's critiques. She um, she thought sometimes the symbolism that this guy uses is confusing. Ray Stedman, if I recall correctly, he is he really does like to you know to you know be kind of novel with his symbolism and things like that. Um, uh, let's see, uh, some things appear um, stretched weirdly. First of all, like the godly kings are types of Christ and depict the sovereign kingly reign of Jesus Christ. Um, but when they were disobedient, they kind of depict antichrist. I guess that's what Stedman was saying. To me, that's too much of a stretch to compare. Um, Azariah to both Jesus and the antichrist. Okay, valid, you know, interesting. You might not agree, but this is, uh, this is what she kind of came to with one of her critiques. Um, and so she goes on about that and gives evidence. So, and she does the same for the rest of the books that she had assigned to her. So that's, you know, that's an example of something where I feel like, again, I'm not expecting, I'm not expecting seminary level work, but at the same time, this is a good, um, you know, undergrad, 100 level, just thinking through what does this resource say? And I'm comparing it to scripture and, Here's where it really is helpful, and here's where it falls short. Any questions about that at all? No. All right. We'll move on here. Okay, so let's go back to the main page. And all right, so that's, you know, your resource evaluation, again, is the main thing for the first two weeks. Then every single week, you're going to have a week number, whatever it is, Educational Inventory Reflection, which, of course, the acronym is my last name. That's, I had to do that. So I have to keep it interesting, you know. 
Um, so anyway, it's a it's an educational inventory reflection. It is basically you sitting down, and this is kind of a best practice in online education. It's having the students sit down and think. It's the week's end here. What did I learn? What was helpful for me? What was not helpful for me? What what do I want my online facilitator, brother Weir here, what do I want him to know that might help him as he tries to make this class better, uh, both this session and Lord willing, you know, down the road as I'm as I'm teaching this uh, longer. So I want, uh, you know, complete the following statements. All right, just as you're thinking about your educational experience that week. This week, I was happy to learn whatever. Like, wow, you know, I learned this thing. It's actually new. Maybe there's some weeks that you don't learn anything new. You've been a Christian for decades, for, um, you know, a long time. So you know a lot of these things. But maybe there were certain things that maybe hit you in a certain way um, mm -hmm. that was just new to you, okay? So, you know, I, I hope you're, that you know, you should be learning something probably every week, I would uh, imagine, with this class. So anyway, so I learned this. I was happy to learn about this. This week I was confused about this. And it could be the material. It could be about the course. It could be about my instructions even. This is just a one-on-one -on -one thing where it's you and me just kind of, um, I'm, I'm hearing from you. I'm able to respond one-on-one. -on -one. Uh, you know, online education is, uh, it has some real blessings to it and some real advantages. It also has some drawbacks. The drawback being that you're not right in front of me and I'm not right in front of you, you know, three days a week. Um, we're online and, and so I'm not, I will miss certain things if I don't have something like this to kind of help me know what the students are experiencing. So yeah, I was confused mm -hmm. about you said about this or you know i was confused about what this resource said i mean this doesn't sound like baptist fundamentalism yeah okay then let's talk about that all right so um uh, so what else okay this week the assignment assisted me my learning by okay so how does this resource evaluation assist you or when we do the question and answer forum how is that how did that help you to learn? Um, think about it. Think about how that format even helped you to learn. Um, the, the wiki at the end, how did that help? Or um, this uh, fourth question, it could have been more helpful. The, you know, this, you know, maybe this format wasn't the most helpful for this. Um, you know, I can see some benefits, question three, but I could also see some drawbacks in question four here. So just discuss that there. Um, and then this week, I'd like my instructor to know this or that, that maybe you think I don't know or whatever. Now, this this is one where this assignment is is one where say as much or as little as you want. I, I you know, I hope that it's not just all one word answers or whatever, or, you know, you're just saying, well, I have nothing to say to you this week. I really do want this to be uh, something that, you know, can kind of help us to communicate and, and things like that. But I, you know, if, if you honestly don't want me to know anything that week, I'm not going to give you like a zero because you didn't tell me something that you wanted me to know. Okay. Any questions about that? No, that okay. seems like a kind of like a survey, and it, 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 you're surveying us and surveying your students. Yes, yes. All right. Um, so that's basically it for week one, and then I'm just going to breeze through the rest here because we've got um, law for week two. You're going to be reading Numbers, Deuteronomy, Joshua, and doing resource evaluations there. Week three, you've got historical books in the Bible, Judges, Ruth, 1 Samuel, 2 Samuel, and 1 Kings. And this time, for the next two weeks here, it's going to be the Bible Answers question and answer forum. I actually have a website where I publish my um, teaching. It's nothing special, but I figure as long as I'm getting it ready for my local church, I might as well just put it out there online. But as a, a side benefit to that, I can install other software on that site and things that we don't necessarily have on my Maranatha 
Um, the grading will be done on my Maranatha, but the, the activity on in week three and week four will be um, on my website and I give a link to that and a way to register and you know you're just basically the uh, week three and week four you're just asking questions about these books that your fellow students will answer you then through the software will be able to say that was a good answer this was the answer this was the best one um, or even you know if people are giving kind of junk answers you can vote them down and that affects their score and things like that so it's kind of a new experimental thing but I figured I would uh, I would try that here and see how that works with you all. Um, and then week four, Second Kings, Chronicles, and Ezra with another Bible questions about Bible answers Q and A form. Uh, week five and week six, we just we come back to the My Maranatha forums, and again, this will all be very um, well. I trust well explained in the instructions. This is the putting it together forum where basically you're saying, all right, the book of Esther, um, the book of Esther, you know, it, I've, as I've read through it, I've seen where it relies on other teachings that are in books previous to it. And, you know, for example, with the book of Esther, I can see examples of things in Esther that I see later on in the scripture, maybe even in the old Testament, maybe in the new Testament. And that's where you're just kind of your, for each of those books, along with the resources, you know, we, we have those same resources, uh, Geisler, Bible.org, Bible project videos. You can use those and cite them. In fact, I think I require you to cite a resource. You're giving, you're giving reasons for saying what you're saying. Um, but this is just kind of an activity to put it together, put, where does this book fall into the greater picture of biblical revelation? Um, so that's what that is about. And then we go into week six with poetry. Uh, yeah, still poetry. I guess Job and Psalms would be considered poetic books in the scripture. Proverbs, Ecclesiastes, Song of Solomon being poetry and Isaiah being thrown in there because um, it just works out for the number of um, number of hours that you'll probably be spending reading these books. Uh, let's see, then week seven, prophecy. Uh, so anyway, week six, same thing with putting it together. Week seven, prophecy, and this is where you're doing your Bible wiki. This is another piece of software on my website um, that is just, uh, you know, kind of available for you guys um, where you will take a book uh, it doesn't have to be like Jeremiah, Lamentations, or Ezekiel, even though those, those will be the books you'll be reading that week. Um, but it could be any book of the of the Old Testament, and you just pick it, and you, you write just like if you've ever been on Wikipedia or whatever. Um, you just write what you know about that book, you know, what you think somebody who was uh, uh, has not studied that book might want to know about about that particular book of the Bible. Um, then as a follow-up, you actually, uh, um, you know, instead of a response post, you're doing kind of a response addition or correction to somebody else's entry that week. And as these things go along, I'll, I'll, I'm, I'll be sure to uh, email and kind of describe what, what's going on. We'll, you know, make sure we have enough hand holding here to kind of, get you through it and help you understand what uh, I'm expecting if the instructions aren't clear enough. Okay. All right. And then the last week, only eight weeks, whole Old Testament in eight weeks. So it's a lot of reading. Be ready for about, um, let's see, what is it? 18 hours a week of just total classwork, which is a lot. And some people can do it in less time. Some people take more time. And what I've found, um, in the last session, especially, I found that people are just really enjoying this opportunity to really be immersed in the Old Testament for eight weeks. And uh, I think most people think it's it's quite a blessing. At least that's what they've told me. <laughs> so, uh, okay. So anyway, week eight, you see there's a horrendous number of books to read because you're in the Minor Prophets. 
and the minor prophets are sometimes like two or three chapters each. And so it's a lot of books, but about the same amount of reading. But again, the assignment is the Bible wiki where you're going, you're taking one book of the old Testament and just uh, writing, um, contributing content to that entry to kind of build it up and collaborate with your classmates um, to, uh, to kind of uh, increase our understanding of and knowledge of uh, an Old Testament book or two or several. Okay, I think, you know, that's the coursework. That's really the meat of it. I've got my, the syllabus, which is, uh, you've probably read through. It just gives you the course description, what we're doing here, uh, which is what you would expect from any kind of Old Testament survey class. Our textbook is Norman Geisler's book. We've got, uh, again, online resources that we use as well. Um, you know, you've basically seen all of all of this information, I think, about the general course organization. Um, you know, I direct us to my Maranatha for the details. Synchronous sessions, you're taking advantage of it if you need another one or two or three or however many throughout the course of this course then just request it and we can get together it's like we're doing tonight assignments open thursday night every week the next week's assignments open on that thursday night um this is where i'm talking about you know basically you're going to be taking 18 hours per week uh that's what we'd expect from a three credit undergraduate uh main campus course and so uh you know including the time taken actually meeting together be about 18 hours final grade waiting you know the bible answers assignments that you have 20 percent the bible wiki 20 percent putting it together 20 percent reflection and resource evaluation so the reflections every week you're doing it that accounts for 20 percent the other four types of assignments that you're doing 20 percent each so like if for some reason you know the bible wiki thing was just not your thing you're not you know really getting it um then at least you have the other ones to kind of pull your grade up. And this is not, this is an introduction, an introductory level Bible course that's intended by the department to really get people interested in the Old Testament, to get them interested in the Bible department. And so this is definitely not a weeding out class where we're trying to, you know, trick you and <laughs> make you do really badly so that you go, you know, choose another major. No, this is an introductory. I think it's kind of fun. I mean, I'm the teacher, so I guess I can think that, but I, you know, as I've set it up, I've kind of thought, you know, taking it would be, I, I, mm -hmm. I think would be kind of fun. All right. So that's, uh, then the grade scale, um, you know, uh, basically, you know, the assignments are mostly if you get a 10 out of 10 or a, a nine out of 10, nine out of 10 would be a 90. So you drop down to a B uh, eight out of 10 is a C, uh, seven out of 10 is a D. And then of course you got the zero as an F. Do you have any issues with technology? I mean, I'm certainly available and I can help. Uh, I might be the best one to start off with, but if you have a question that you know is just technology related, then our IT department is excellent and they will help you. Just email them at support at mbu.edu. They'll get back to you. Plagiarism and academic dishonesty, basically, if you use a resource and your words are their words, then quote them and say, I got them from this resource. It's just, don't be dishonest. Sometimes I see, <laughs> this didn't happen in the last session, I'm thankful for that, but before that, when the course was a little bit different, I would have students just kind of lift information from you know, an online resource without giving credit, and that's just dishonest, and we don't want to do that. So, and that uh, comes with some penalties, as you can read in that statement there. Late work, it's kind of funny because I think, you know, I have a late work policy, which is you can get late work in, um, uh, you know, and I just take off 10% per day, but the thing is, I don't think the system even allows late work in some ways. So, um, but I've been flexible with people. I just, I don't want people to take advantage of that. Um, and really as we're doing discussion forums, question and answers, wiki entries, it's like you kind of need 
to get it in on time. And if you don't, you know, people are losing out on your contribution. Um, and so I just, I have that policy there. I can be flexible. And at the same time, let's uh, try not to use that, <laughs> that late policy. Then we have the compulsory American with Americans with Disabilities Act uh, statement here where you can, you can get learning assistance if you, uh, if you have that need. Let's see here. I think that might be it. Do you have any questions though beyond any of that, Tyler? I do. Uh, I thought I'd, uh, uh, just a simple question. I'll, I'll formulate it in an email and send it to you. So, Oh, sure. Um, and, and, and work it that way. Okay. Uh, uh, otherwise, um, it's really, really well spelled out. Thank you for, okay. uh, for your work on this. Yeah, sure. It's my, it's my joy and pleasure, really. I just, uh, I, I think you've watched that video that I sent out, right? Um, maybe, maybe not yet. Not yet. Okay, no, it's fine. That's fine. It's, it's just like, a, you know, hey, get to, get to know your professor kind of thing. Great. It's, um, the Old Testament is just something that... Um, I, for whatever reason, I just, I'm, I gravitate toward it. I want to understand it better. I feel like if we understand the Old Testament better, we, we can understand the New Testament a lot better and have a greater appreciation of it and all that stuff. So um, anyway, I just, uh, it's a great joy to, to be doing this. So thanks for taking the course. <laughs> yeah, I'm excited. And yeah. uh, it, it looks like a lot of work. Um, yeah, it is. Especially with all the other responsibilities, but uh, we're just going to do our best to make it happen. And, and, and like you say, um, learn, learn, um, I, I'm interested to see Christ in the old Testament and see him, yes. uh, come out, uh, in, in different things in different ways. We, we, we've got, um, Genesis under our belt. Uh, uh we're getting into Exodus now. So, okay. um, that that's, that, that's a good deal. And yep. uh, I'm encouraged by that. So good. It, it's not, not as formidable maybe as I was uh, thinking. <laughs> yeah, especially, and I don't think I say anything about it. Uh, I, I've in sessions past I have, but really if you, um, what I find most helpful is, um, and, and I give you the option, you can, you can, um, you can just read the, the books of the Bible or you can read and listen to it. I find that so helpful, especially with narrative. It just helps me to keep going. Um, and narratives especially, not so much psalms. Psalms are kind of written, uh, poetry in general in the Bible is written in such a way that it makes you stop and read it slowly to understand it. Whereas the uh, stories are very, like you can even read it sometimes at double speed I've found I understand it pretty well, even if I do that. So anyway, you can, you know, whatever helps you, it's just, it's getting through those books and, uh, um, you know, reading it, reading it all the way through. So, yeah. all right. Any other questions or comments? No, sir. All right. But we'll, we'll get that email. And yeah. 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 That sounds good. Okay. Okay. Have a good night, brother. Thanks much. Yep. You're welcome. Goodbye. Okay.